Hey guys, it's Ben, Acme Mowing, Acme Mowing and Lawn Care, acmemowing.com. How's it going? Happy Saturday to you. Hope you're being profitable. It's the middle of April. In fact, it's the day before Easter. So happy Easter to you guys that celebrate it and happy Sunday to you guys that don't uh, tomorrow. Anyway, uh, today, what have, we, what have we been doing this week? Uh, I've been complaining about the rain uh, incessantly on my Instagram page. Uh, it's because uh, last weekend it rained on Saturday so heavily that we weren't able to do anything until Wednesday. I was able to get a couple knocked out on Wednesday, a couple of the big acreages, uh, but then it rains Wednesday night again, very heavily again. So we weren't able to do anything Thursday. Uh, I was able to get on a couple of yards on Friday. Uh, today we're going to go give them an estimate for a fresh French drain. Now you'll remember you met Peyton a couple of videos ago from BNN Irrigation. Uh, Peyton and I are going into a limited partnership together and this is the beginning of that. I'm going to show you uh, that process with him today. Uh, it's going to be a learning experience for both of us. If you guys don't know anything about dirt work like I don't, it'll be a learning experience. So I'm just kind of going along to to learn and uh, just be a fly on the wall. And I'm going to bring my camera with me so you can join me. Yeah, his that neighbor was here first, so it's the builder that didn't build, that didn't build this up enough. They should have. Yes, they should have, and it is actually it's it's sloped, but it's sloped towards the yard, so it all drains off that pavement right into his backyard. See what they did is they they built this for a reason. This isn't decorative. They knew that they had a drainage problem when they bought when they moved in here, and they built this this little volcanic rock ditch thinking that the water would collect in there and dissipate, but it didn't help at all. You can see, it's, I mean, it is just unbelievable. I mean, it's been, it's been over 24 hours since we got rain and there's still standing water in here. I wonder if I can get that on, yeah. That's unbelievable. So from what your grandfather is telling them that we'll need two catch basins, one on the on this side of the shop and then one on the other. And instead of taking it out to the street that way, take it down to that ditch and let it drain down the ditch into the into the street. So I'm kind of thinking about maybe running a narrow one here, catch it when it comes off this driveway. Yeah. Because you can put a long narrow catch basin. And Catch it here yeah. or get out into the yard. And that'll eliminate that whole problem and then run it that way. Take a look at it. But if you did it this way, with the single catch basin here, where would you drain it off to? Would you would you You can run it over you'd, that way? Too. You'd still run it on you'd yeah. still run it underneath the sidewalk right there and then out that way? Yeah. That might be a that would save his yard too, but I'm just worried about I'm worried about that area because it looks like it drains right into his backyard this way too. So we've got, you got three sides of drainage going into his backyard here. Yeah, I don't know if they can see that, like how wet that is. That's terrible. So guys, that was lesson one in Ben's education on dirt work, drainage, and, and et cetera, et cetera, irrigation. Uh, Peyton and his grandpa are gonna get that uh, job no problem, uh, and I'm gonna help them. Uh, because I want to learn and we're going into business together so I need to know every aspect of the business so when I do give estimates I'll be able to give estimates on that kind of thing as well pretty soon so uh, we're planning on doing the work a week from today so next Saturday we're planning on getting back out there and getting that work done uh, Peyton's grandpa and Peyton are gonna come back and uh, do all the um, they're gonna shoot it uh, for slope, et cetera, et cetera, figure out uh, where our low points are and where our high points are so we can uh, put that dirt down in an educated uh, manner so we're not guessing at it. It's a science and I'm gonna learn it. I'm excited. Uh, 
I love learning stuff that I don't know about, and this is one thing I know nothing about. Uh, and I'm looking forward to knowing all about it. So, anyway, guys, uh, that's going to have to do on that one. Uh, you'll see the dirt work. I'll definitely keep it, uh, I'll keep a video record of that uh, as I learn how to do it. Um, but this video, the rest of this video, we're just going to go cut some lawns, uh, try to get as many done as we can. Like I said, we've been rained out all this week. notice that there has been no changes since uh, Wednesday and there won't be any changes uh, today either because we got nothing for the fridge of fame in the P.O. box isn't that sad do you know what I think we're gonna call it KH time what do you think I think that we're gonna stick with the fridge of fame <laughs> and that you guys and should send us something for the y'all better start sending us something for the fridge of fame please do yes anyway so I was just getting ready to tell you mm -hmm. that I worked with Peyton and his grandpa uh, to do an estimate for dirt work, and I'm learning a lot about it. Uh, a lot about shooting slopes and, and figuring out drainage, and uh, it's pretty scientific, uh, and but it's not that difficult. It's just a lot of work. Yeah. So it's big money. On Wednesday, JT's gonna be joining us. Really? Uh, yes. Uh, we're doing a huge, huge mulch job and a big bush trimming job. Well, huge for Acme uh, and bush trimming job. Uh, you may remember last year, we kind of making fun of the homeowner for chopping his bushes down to nothing. <laughs> I remember that. Well, one. we weren't making fun of him. His wife was. Uh -huh. So, <laughs> but they came back nice. So now we're just going to try to level them for him. And we're going to take care of the rest of his bushes this year. So we've got about 
five or six hour uh, project on that one to do. JT's gonna help out on that one. And we're collaborating with Rob from Rob's Odd Job. So that's gonna be awesome. Me, JT and Rob working together. That's cool. It's gonna be a good time. So yeah. tune in on Wednesday for sure. And I'll have that one up for you. Uh, we're just not gonna have, we're doing it today guys, but we're not gonna have time to get it uploaded and everything. So I'm gonna upload it on Wednesday. I know you guys don't wanna miss JT. I'm excited and I know KH is excited that he's gonna be in the area. I am. Maybe we can get lunch delivered on site. Oh, maybe. Maybe. If we ordered it, maybe. Uh-huh. I order you to bring me lunch. <laughs> hey, you have my number. <laughs> I do have her number. <laughs> so I know there's people out there. Do you know what? I just got an idea. So. I'll go to the print shop and have them make me up a hanging with KH sticker, and then I can add it to the KH sticker. Deal. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> I knew you'd say no, but I thought I had to ask. You Never know, hurts to ask. <laughs> you know what I don't have to ask? <laughs> what? I don't have to ask. While I was out cutting, what have you been doing? Because I know the answer to that based on your attitude this evening. This is the first time I've drank beer in forever. There might be some barley pop involved in this laughter. I don't know. Anyway, guys, if you have sent me something for your fridge, for the fridge of fame, thank you very much. Uh, if you haven't, please do so. That'd be great of you and we'd really appreciate it. Our address is in the description of the video. Hope you enjoyed the video today. I'm really excited about uh, working with Peyton yes. and getting into the dirt work thing. That's gonna be amazing. Uh, you'll have to explain to me what it's. I'll show you here. a picture of it. It's amazing. Okay. You're gonna love it. I can't wait. You're not, well, you're not gonna care, but I oh. love it. So uh, I'm gonna- Is I, it air conditioned? Yes, it is actually. Oh my God, Yeah, really? they don't they don't half ass it. It's, <laughs> it's a nice, it's a nice skid steer. Anyway, guys, you guys have a great week, and we'll see you Wednesday. Remember, love each other. Make lots of money this week. And peace. Always peace. Peace always. And drink some beer. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs>